This is uh, showing four of the systems I got up here that are pretty much identical as far as the internals of the system. Uh, all four of these systems are run on these little IBM 17 inch monitors, black monitors. And uh, I just got various little computer carts up here, but uh, it's hard to get around because I've got a lot, lot of junk. This is my spare room up here. And uh, there's another one, and another one, and another one. And uh, I just use whatever. I need to get some. Uh, long tables or make me a table or something that uh, comes out and uh, allows me to put several systems on instead of all these little carts. These are kind of mobile and easy to move around but this one rack here is just an extra utility rack that I've got. And it just, you're too close when you're playing. I've got a little uh, little fold out table right there that I put out for people to put keyboards on. I know it was like a mess right now but <laughs> land party days everything's clean and tidy. But uh, anyway all these IBM monitors they're all all pretty much identical, and uh, but the the systems are totally different. There's those iMicro keyboards. People have been using those the last LAN party or so, and seem to work okay. They're pretty simple, like I said, but you know, less than 40 bucks for 10 brand new ones. That was just a great deal. But uh, here's a beast, very old, another another gateway beige unit, and uh, just got the simple CD-ROM and floppy in there. And the guts in this is uh, I think uh, Pentium 3 650. Maybe 256 megs and uh, GeForce 2 GTX, I think. I think that was one of the higher end GT uh, GeForce 2s back in the day, of course. But runs oldies like uh, Unreal Tournament, you know, just like you wouldn't believe. And uh, we like those old games like that. Got a lot of old fogies here like me that like those old games. But uh, this case really wasn't so bad. I think, to be honest, this is probably identical to the case that. Uh, your MK Arcade Source recently did a main computer build for a fella. Uh, the case was about the only thing he could salvage. Um, if Mike's watching, I think. I don't want to refer to you like I know you, Mike, but I, I've heard your name. I think your name's Mike. But uh, this looks like the system you built for that fellow. Um, and uh, I built it up just for a LAN rig. And uh, I was able to actually get online with some options and, and get actual... Uh, silver ASUS CD-ROM drive and a silver floppy drive. That Those are not spray painted. That's the way they, they are from the factory to match this case. I thought it would look nice. And uh, my friend Paul loves this system just because of the way it looks when you, you turn it on. It lights up all blue. It's got like blue fans. I think one in the top, one in the side. No, it's got a little clear wind in the side. But I never have big a, been a uh, big fan of that kind of thing. Uh, I build my systems and I don't like the big windows or the colored fans. To me, the colored fans, the lights are just something else to go out and you know, unless they're really high quality, the lighted fans to me seem to be made kind of cheap. You know, I just want a good functioning fan if I put a fan in. But I think a lot of people go over killing their fans anyway, you know. And I don't overclock because uh, people overclock and I'm like, yeah, you're getting a little more of, out of that processor, you know. You're kind of sticking it to the man, but, you know, you're risking overheating your components most of the time. And, you know, those are people who have, like, one system and they tweak and play with it all the time. And that's great. I just, I don't really... I don't really try to push the limits too much these days. I mean, back when, you know, we had uh, 386, 25 megahertz and stuff like that, yeah, I'd try to push it to 33 megahertz and do some overclocking and stuff, you know. But, you know, these days you're running over 2 gigahertz and people are trying to push it, you know, to get a little bit higher and stuff. And I just, I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like the gain is worth it, you know. Not worth the risk anyway. But uh, none of these are overclocked, obviously. I don't mess with that. I just get them running the best I can, uh, make sure they've got, you know, decent running parts in there. Just recently put new CMOS batteries in all these, you know, and uh, uh, I keep all the BIOS settings the same in all of them and uh, try to put the same hardware in all of them, keep some backup hardware around just so I can get them running if one goes down, especially during a LAN party, which once they're running, usually it doesn't happen during a LAN party, but here's another one, and this is another beast, and believe it or not, this is another old gateway case, yet another form of the old gateway case. And uh, got an old 366 CD-ROM in there. I've got several of those sitting around. This is also, I mean, these old gateway cases, these type, they're really heavy duty. And they're a pleasure to put parts in, you know, because you don't get cut. Everything seems to be rolled metal on the inside. But uh, they're just ugly. <laughs> you can see the front of this one. It's yellowing, the plastic on the front. And that's just the way that plastic did, you know. Old 8-bit computers did the same way, like old Commodore 64s and things. And, uh, of course, all these, like I say, they've all got the micro, all right, iMicro keyboards. That's a good shot of one. 
like I say, they're very standard, very standard layout, which I love. Very standard keyboard. That's all you need for a LAN party. Unless you got Bukuza money. This is the same way. It's up under there. But, uh, and uh, this is the only case I'm probably going to salvage, unless I do salvage the silver one with the, the blue lights all over it or whatever. This is a brand new case. I know it's hard for you to see. The lighting's terrible in here. But uh, this is actually a brand new case. I put a uh, beige CD-ROM drive in there and spray painted it black. I did. I actually took it out. <laughs> took the faceplate off and everything. Did that to the floppy drive in this unit too. Did it by hand. Turned out pretty good. Black doesn't match the case perfectly, but you know, just for this land rig. And like I say, this, this is all culminated over a, you know, a few years time. This is just extra stuff I have and I'm just trying to make it look better so the house doesn't look so cluttered. You know, at least it all matches, you know. L looks like it's a little more thought out. But it's actually a brand new case. I bought it from a local computer company. And it's very close in quality to the other four new ones that I just bought. I think this is a little less quality, actually. I think those are actually nicer. But I'll probably keep this one since it is already black. And uh, recently bought four good land chairs. Folding black chairs take up a lot less room than uh, the little rolling chairs, the task chairs, which those suckers cost 40 bucks at the cheapest piece. I bought... I think these were probably 20 bucks a piece, somewhere around 80 bucks for a pack of four of them at Staples. And they're actually very, excuse me, very heavy duty chairs. I pulled the plastic off. Uh oh. Very heavy duty chairs. Got very thick padding on there. They're actually pretty comfortable to sit in for a while. You don't have any armrests, but, uh, you know. This is for guests, and like I say, once a month. I can't afford to spend an arm and a leg. But there are brand new chairs. Really thick padding in the seat, if you can see. This isn't that El Cheapo stuff like what I used to have. I used to have some old card table chairs. Chairs that came with a card table, and I think all together it probably wasn't over $40 for four chairs and a table. These are like 20 bucks a piece. If you bought them separate, they might have been like 30 bucks. 30 bucks or something. If you bought a pack of four of them, I think they were selling them. I think I got them around 80 bucks. Probably get some more of these. Probably another pack. But, uh, and then, uh, the mice I've got downstairs. I'll probably show you those in a second. Here's, uh, probably one of the last land systems. Like I said, there's, there's about six that we use regularly. And, uh, I have others that I can hook up if I need need to, but these are the ones we use most of the time. I've got wireless cards put in most of these. That's, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Brand new wireless cards. If you look in that one, there's the back of the antenna and all that. But uh, this is uh, kind of the sister system to the other one I showed you downstairs, the big gateway. It's got the same type of guts just about it. Motherboard's, I think, a little different, but it's like a 7 or 800 megahertz uh, Celeron. Uh, in a little Omnitech beige case. It looks awful. Uh, it does have one of those little speaker units. And like I said, I might to get black ones for those other ones that I'm rebuilding. It just makes it easier so you don't have to keep up with headphones. And like I say, a lot of the guys don't even use the headphones, but they would probably use those if they could turn them up just a little. But, uh, and you know, just a old Dell beige keyboard. But, uh, this is just, a. Uh, Actually, my wife's desk that she doesn't use anymore. I used to have her the desktop up here, which I may turn into a LAN rig. It's a uh, more powerful than these. It's maybe a uh, Athlon XP 2600 plus or something, and similar to my old desktop. Runs all these games great, no problems. This is actually a fantastic, phenomenal little CRT monitor. It's a ViewSonic. I bought it. The price was great when I bought it. I think I paid like 260. It was a floor model at Best Buy several years back. This thing has never failed me once. Knock on wood. It it really would be fantastic for a main build. It's a 19 inch. Great monitor. It has, it has just a beautiful picture. And uh, it's a flat screen CRT. And uh, it's getting kind of ugly. It's starting to turn a little yellow here on top. It was doing that even before I took it out of Best Buy because, like I said, it was a floor model. It was the last one they had, and they, they gave me a break. It was supposed to be like a $350 monitor or something. They knocked almost 100 bucks off or something, and I bought it that day. And it was the biggest screen I'd had up to that point. Uh, I think I'd had an old 19-inch. It went bad on me before this one, but this one was Buku's better. And I just can't get rid of it. It's just got such a beautiful display. You know, I hate the beige, but 
Man, the display's great. Might make a main cap out of it or something one day.